Hey guys, Tom Wilmot here for FXFortuneHunter.com and typically, as you know, we're trading currencies and using Forex.com and MetaTrader and our uh, set of uh, optimized indicators and powerful templates that keep us in line with the trend. But today, because I promised on my website that a number of these templates and indicator patterns work beautifully on other trading platforms, even if they're not the top-of-the-line charting uh, platforms, I wanted to show you about Fidelity Active Trader Pro today because they really do have very good option execution and options uh, information on their site. And if you're a stock trader that likes options, <clears throat> this might be the platform for you. And yet it's incredibly difficult to learn how to use. There are no videos about it. So our goal today is to teach you how to use Fidelity Active Trader Pro, at least how to get going. Okay, there's a lot to go over for sure. And the first thing we really need to do is uh, talk about what are we looking at here. In this particular case, uh, this is a chart that goes all the way back to uh, the beginning of uh, 2019. It's a 30 minute chart. And basically, it looked like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 days. So let's take a look at the 10-day chart. We'll click on that right here and see if we can clean it up. And so basically what happens, if you want a 30-minute chart with 30-minute candles, what you're going to do is pick your time frame after that. You can go to three months. And what's going to happen at that point in time, and the reason I got involved in this in the very beginning, is most uh, charting platforms allow you to squeeze the chart in or out one way or another. The, the Active Trader Pro does not let you do that. You have to play around with these uh, toggles down here and then the frequency chart here. So let's uh, just say we're going to have uh, this 10-day view of things by clicking here. And sure enough, that's where we are with our 30-minute chart. Now, if we come over here, let's say we want to cut down from 30 minutes, let's say to 15, halfway, we should get twice as many candles. Let's see how it works. And sure enough, we've squeezed it right in there. Now, if you want that 15-minute view of things, but you would very much like to see a little thicker candle uh, uh, spacing, then let's quick back go to five days. And sure enough, we've got our 15 minutes versus the five day. And you can see one, two, three, four, five days here would be the key. Now, if we were to go to one year, uh, that's year to date. So we don't want just January. We're recording this at the end of January 2019. If we wanted one year, we click here. And we can see the Netflix uh, chart pops up very nicely for us. And we do have 12 months. It's gone to a daily chart over 12 months, and that's uh, how this will work. So we would expect we get about 20 trading candles per month in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 months of the year. So that's the first thing. You have to kind of go back and forth between these two areas on the chart uh, face and be able to change your toggles around. You'll just have to play with it, but don't waste a lot of time trying to squeeze on the chart or expand it on the chart itself. Okay, next tip, and we'll finish up with this one in this particular video. How are we going to get this changed around? Let's say it comes down over into this area and it's uh, tightly squeezed on the bottom. Notice we'll get this crosshatch arrow, and we want to lift it up so we could drag that arrow right up on the screen and move it up higher. We can bring it back down and center it very nicely. If you like more margin on the right-hand side, here's your right-hand margin. Grab that, pull it back this way. And the same thing up top here and pull down. Notice that in a number of these things under events, for example, one of the things is here was an earnings announcement. So as I said, Fidelity is great with its research. You'll be able to see things like earnings coming up and so forth. And you can see that we just had a recent Netflix earnings. Even though they had the nice price increase announcement and moved the stock higher, you can see that uh, we did have a little bit of a pullback. Uh, after the earnings announcement was uh, was made. Now down here in this particular area, I put an RSI chart. I like to have a 45-55 middle band. 
so that we can see when we're uh, higher or lower and moving higher and lower. I also, uh, if you would like to change that or get rid of it, you have to simply go to the, the indicator once it's on the screen, uh, left click with your mouse, and then you can modify, delete, or add another indicator. Same thing up here. I seeded this one up here with an EMA, a 24 EMA, which is what I use as kind of a, a, a return to the median. Uh, indicator for myself. It's a, uh, it's uh, worked for me for years. But I just seeded the uh, the uh, chart with this particular one. Likewise, if you come up here, left click, you can modify the leader, add another one. And if you wanted to add yet another indicator this to this EMA, let's come over here, exponential moving average, and it comes up as a automatically seeds as a, as a thing, so you uh, as a 20, for example. So you have to come here and modify. And what we'd like to do is change this now. Let's make it uh, yellow, and we're going to uh, make our line thickness a bit thicker, and we're going to make this, uh, I would say, let's make it a 12. I like a 12 and 24 switcheroo, okay? And sure enough, here we go. So once our once our uh, yellow line is above the blue line, uh, we have had a crossover and we had a pullback and then we moved higher. Same thing here. We had a crossover, a pullback, and then a move lower up to the 24 EMA and down we go. And then another crossover and a pullback. And so that's basically how you try your indicators and put them in place. Once uh, One last thing just to show you. When you have your... Uh, <clears throat> when you have your uh, cursor on a particular candle, you'll be able to see that this is uh, back to 313 and so forth in this area. Notice up here, this is where this is going to tell you your values. So my cursor is here now. That would have been back on the 18th of May last year, 2018. And the high and the low of the day are printed and the closing value as well. Now, <clears throat> just one last quick thing in this video. In terms of settings, this is where you would go to change or to create a chart. If we wanted to change this very simple chart, and what I'd like to do before we do that, I'm going to go to this particular one, make it a little thicker so that it's more clear on the chart. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> that looks a little better. Let's say we want to save this particular chart and this uh, setting. So we would come here to... Uh, um, Let's uh, save a chart, and let's add a new name, actually. We can name, name the chart, and we'll name it uh, uh, New Simple Crossover. And save it. And now <clears throat> we're in good shape, because if we wanted to add this or move to another type of, uh, uh, of indicator, we could come back automatically and simply seed it. Likewise, up here, if you build your list, and just to show we really were involved in uh, currency trading here as well, FXB being the EFT for the pound and the dollar. Let's pull this over here. Notice now that we have the same kind of crossover as the uh, Brexit issues and votes, you know, worked out over last year, then came back. We had a low recently. We have Fibonacci's from up here in the uh, drawing uh, tools indicator. But bottom line is you can uh, see about trading uh, currencies as well through Fidelity EF ETFs. But in any event, notice that once the Brexit vote was lost two weeks ago, uh, that seemed to be rock bottom. And since then, we have accelerated higher. Uh, so I hope that all of these uh, just quick tips about this particular trading platform are helpful to you, and also that it shows that some of our very basic indicators and templates really do show the way, no matter whether it's stocks or futures or currency trading for cash. So please join us again. Come to fxfortunehunter.com. Sign up for more videos and webinars. If you'd like, we'd love to have you on board. And please uh, sub subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, Vineyard FX. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.